What's up everybody, Glenn with Hustler Hacks and today awesome Merch by Amazon video. I want to talk about design and utilizing the full design area when you're creating t-shirts for Merch by Amazon. I have this little guide, I'm using Adobe Illustrator, I have this little guide that I created and I pretty much use this guide every time I'm designing shirts. Even if you order a t-shirt design from me, I'm probably gonna have it on this t-shirt so you can see what it looks like. I like to see what a design looks like on an actual shirt. So I created this little guide here, this rectangle, based off of the 4500 by 5400 pixels um, that they give us to work with on merch. So I put it on here, I use it as a guide, and I design over it to see what kind of spacing um, I'm, I'm working with when I'm when I have a design for merch. So um, if you're interested in this little guide, you can go to my Facebook page, Hustler Hacks on Facebook. I just posted it, so you can just literally click on it um, and then go to uh, let's see right here uh, options, and then you can download this little picture here, so you can use that uh, as a guide when you're designing t-shirts on Adobe Illustrator. So my example though, I wanna show you guys two different t-shirts that have the exact same idea, except the design is different and why I think one is a lot better than the other. And you can see the rank on them, the price, just different things about the t-shirt. So this might be a copied design. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if it's original or not, um, but whoever did create it, I do think it's awesome. And the one I'm comparing it to, if this is your design, I'm sorry, I'm not here to bash you or dish or dish out any um, ugly comments, but I am gonna criticize the design and I do wanna help anybody um, you know, create better designs. So here we go. This design, save the chubby unicorns with a nice little rhino on there. I like this design because it utilizes the full space, or at least almost, the full area um, that they're allowing you to design. It's one color, it's clean, it's bold. If you want to look at the ranking here, let's see, uh, 92,000, so pretty good ranking. And uh, even with the keywords, they talk about rhino, rhinoceros, save the chubby unicorn. I mean, nothing crazy. They're not putting a bunch of keywords in there or anything like that. But like I said, I don't know if it's a copy design or not. You can see there's another one here. So it could be. But uh, overall, the design is awesome. Comparing it to this one, save the chubby unicorn. They didn't put unicorns. They just put unicorn. 1995, a little bit more pricey. And if you look at the keywords they put on here, uh, very other variations sizes small medium large extra large extra extra large uh, 2xl 3xl brother wife husband aunt uncle teen kids child daughter it's just way too much going on you don't even need that much for your keywords or anything like that and it might fall into the keyword stuffing when we talk about the content policy I would stay away from anything like this stuff um, they even talk about designed in the USA I would just stay away from any of the USA stuff, period, um, so you don't get anything like this taken down. But comparing the designs, let's go back to Illustrator. So save the chubby unicorns. You can see the one that I liked compared to the one that I didn't like. And look how they utilize the area. Now we're going to use this and plug it into our little guides. And put this mic down. You'll probably still hear me, though. But plugging this in here. Whoops. Let me see. I think I have them on here. Okay, so these two, let's see how they fit in here. So, if you look at the design area, they're utilizing about 80% of the design area. They only have this part here that they're not using. Go up here. Realistically, this is only using about 50% of it. Uh, let me bring in a color. So look at that. Almost half, a little bit. Oh, here we go. You can see it a little bit better, uh, a little bit less, but half the design space is utilized. What happened to the other part? Why aren't they using all of this full area? I truly think that if you maximize that area, you will do well. So what's the main differences that we're looking at when we look at these two designs right off the bat? Let me zoom in, get a little closer here. So the main part of the design is going to be the rhino. And the rhino is much larger here on this t-shirt, smaller here. 
But the main thing too is that they kind of stuffed in the words chubby and unicorn onto one line. I would not do that. And then save the is a lot smaller than it is here. They chose a font that's a little bit uh, thicker, bolder. It uses a little bit more space. This one, save the, you can see is... Uh, a little bit narrow when you're talking about the typeface, so you can utilize the space a little bit better. But the biggest thing here is Chubby and Unicorn is crammed into one line. The Rhino is really, really small, and there's a lot of like empty space here that's not really being used. Obviously, this full space here, but you can see here, you can see here, and a little bit here. When you go here, you only get this like 20% um, that's not being utilized and all the rest of it is pretty much, you know, taken up. I mean, it does look good. So when we take it off, the little rectangle, um, we can see here and here, you can see the big difference in utilizing the space and how it actually looks like on a t-shirt. So I would definitely recommend to do something like this rather than something like this. And uh, those are probably some of the key points just off the bat. What I like about it too is that this design looks good in every single color that they choose. I know they tell you maybe you could choose two or three different colors for your t-shirt. But when you look at it, look, it looks good in black, cranberry, kelly green, navy, and royal blue. You can get this in any one of these five colors and be happy with the final product when you do get that t-shirt design nothing is crazy as far as like colors being hidden uh within certain color uh t-shirt um sorry any specific uh t-shirts it's not hidden in there the design isn't hidden uh colors of the design aren't hidden and you can clearly see what it says save the chubby unicorns even these small little ones which i said i think this is the exact same design you can still read it on the small thumbnail i think that's extremely important that you can read it on the thumbnail. You don't have to go around seeing like, what what, is, what does that say? Do I have to click on it and blow it up and uh, read all the details about it? No, because you know what it says and it's also just as clean. So comparing it to that one. And like I said, this one has a bunch of random keywords, keyword stuffing, and it doesn't seem like it's doing very well yet. And you go down here, description, they talk a little bit on it. Um, makes a great gift, click on add to cart to buy it now. Okay, nothing really against any of this stuff, but there's no ranking and hasn't sold anything yet. No reviews, none of that stuff. Comparing it to this t-shirt, five star review, small keywords, keeping it clean. And then they do have a 92,000 uh, ranking in clothing. Once again, I don't know if this person was the one that designed it originally, but whoever did design it originally, props to you. I like the design, and uh, obviously it's been selling well. Um, a lot of uh, people trying to do the same design or same idea too. I think there's like eight pages right now on Amazon based off of this idea. So um, there we go there. And like I said, if you want to use this little thing to kind of utilize and see the, the design area when you're designing a t-shirt, um, you can get that off my Facebook page. And like I said, I just like to put designs over it. Speaking of design, let me show you another example. In case you didn't know, me and Yang, we have a new podcast called Merch Mind. And we're working on episode number four. It should be out next week. So we have three episodes down. If you haven't listened to it, definitely recommend it. But look at this logo that I created for our podcast. If I want to slip this bad boy in here and see the same thing. We're kind of utilizing almost 75 to 80% of the design area. And you can see just that remaining part there. We don't, you don't have to use the full area if you don't want to, because some of them don't look that great, but I want to make sure that you use, you're utilizing most of it. So take off this little rectangle. Let's see how the design looks. And it looks pretty clean, it looks pretty sharp. You can see the clearly our, our logo on here, Merch Minds podcast, looks sharp uh, using that full area. And speaking of the podcast, let me go here. Like I said, if you haven't listened to it, you can go on iTunes right now, Merch Minds podcast with Glenn and Young, three episodes down. They're all free. 
always be free. You can view it on iTunes. You can save it. You can get updates whenever we do upload the next one. A couple of five-star reviews. Uh, if you want to leave, leave a review, please help us out. Uh, it will um, help us just make the podcast better. And if you don't want to mess with iTunes, I get it. Sometimes iTunes goes crazy and you have to do updates, all that stuff. Merchminds.libsyn.com. You can go on here. You can get the exact same episodes. And we're going to upload um, episodes on here as well. So you can go on here. I'll put this link in the description. Um, this iTunes one as well. So you can just go straight to it and, um, and go right into the podcast. And episode number three was pretty cool because Young has a crazy story talking about his Merch by Amazon account. And then I kind of review the um, the new uh, content policy and things you need to know. I kind of go into it in, in further detail rather than just the YouTube video. So I'll talk about it a little bit more. Hopefully that helps you. And uh, we're also working on the SoundCloud. I want to get a cool banner on there. I'm going to use the logo and everything. So uh, it will be on SoundCloud very, very soon. And uh, like I said, a lot of good feedback right now, not only on the podcast, but just me doing Merch by Amazon uh, videos to try to help you guys out on designs and other things like that. So hope you f hopefully you guys like this video and kind of understand what I'm talking about as far as uh, using that, that uh, design space or at least most of the design space. I think that definitely helps. And you can see the difference in between uh, two t-shirts that are live right now and the difference between a selling t-shirt and one that has not sold yet. You can email me hustlerhacks, the number one at gmail.com. I try to answer anybody, uh, everybody as soon as I can. And if you have any questions on merch, feel free to uh, ask me. Um, happy to help you out any way that I can. Um, I do sell t-shirt designs. If you have some ideas ready to go and you want to go through me for t-shirt designs, email me as well. And um, I'll get back to you with some quotes and stuff and we can work on the designs for you. And other than that, look for uh, episode number four that will be out next week. We're going to have a special guest on the show. And you know what? If you're a newbie or intermediate or expert and you want to be on the show, me and Yang talked about this. We want to have just different people from different backgrounds in merch that if they're a newbie, maybe they have questions that they want to ask us on air that maybe other people can relate to intermediate cool you're selling here and there maybe you're tiered up to 100 or 500 we you want to be in the show that's also awesome we could put you on there and if you're just a pro you're doing well you're selling you have big money you feel you can help other people out please contact me hustler hacks the number one at gmail.com we want to have just a wide range of people i don't think that you have to be some kind of pro or guru to be on a show to help people out that's not the main thing we're trying to do here. We want to help people from, um, you know, all tiers that can learn something. I think that's the most important thing about the podcast. So hopefully you guys uh, like this and this video and you can use this template on my Facebook page. My name is Glenn with Hustler Hacks. You guys already know, go out and get it.